Scenes of destruction along the Norfolk coast at Hemsby, where the storm surge undercut the cliff and several properties tumbled into the sea. All along the east coast, people were safe from danger as the waters rose. The Humberside Fire Service rescued more than 100 people. In some areas, like Kings Lynn, for example, we've recorded the highest ever tidal level, um, uh, way some, some near two metres above the expected tidal level, so the surge really did happen last night down the coast. Thousands of people were evacuated from their homes and hundreds spent the night in rest centres. There were fears the flooding could have been the worst in 60 years, but in Essex, that didn't happen. I think we very much got away with it. I think it could have been a lot worse than it actually turned out to be, but we obviously had to be prepared for the very worst and hope for the best. And luckily, we got away with near the best as we could. In Whitby, they were doing their best to clear up of this fruit and veg merchants after floodwaters swept through the property. Devastating, we were uh, up to our waist trying to save as much stock that we could. Uh, just damage to vehicles, just total devastation really, has lost a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of stuff. In some places the military helped out overnight. The government has warned the worst may be over, but it's not yet time to relax. I would stress that this is not over. There will still be exceptionally high tides today and tomorrow. And I would urge everybody to pay very close attention to advice from the Environment Agency and also to follow instructions from the police, local government and the emergency services. The coastline that was battered last night will see high tides again today. Those who've left their properties have been warned it could be some time before they can go home. Andy Moore, BBC News.